quick little update on the car. About a week ago, I was at Road America and uh, had an alternator fail on me. The alternator pulley loosened up, caused the belt to come off the drive system. No power steering, no, uh, no coolant pumping through. Coolant came out of the reservoir tank all over the car, spun, towed back. So, good news is that the tow strap works. Saw that in a previous video. And uh, I also decided to do some AMT monoball um, control arm, you know, bearing, bushing upgrade, which led to a slippery slope from there. I figure, well, if I'm gonna have good suspension, I might as well have better alignment as well. So I'm also using these AMT eccentrics. So these lock into the aluminum cradle and prevent the alignment from slipping under hard load. So if you're running really sticky tires, important to have. Super easy to adjust, looking forward to getting these on. I also did the AMT stud studs for the upper control arms. I think these are out a little long. So these have about 15 millimeters of depth in the frame. So I might drive those in a little longer, or a little shorter, a little, a little further into the frame. The objective of that is so if you're taking the shims in and out frequently, you're not destroying your threads in the frame. Makes it a little more robust in the long run. The other part of the slippery slope was my hubs. So this car came from the factory with SKF X-Tracker ZR1 hubs. They felt fine, but I noticed some grease coming out of one of them. So I decided to replace all four. And when the all when the other when the new ones came and I could feel how smooth these were compared to the ones that were in my car, I'm glad I replaced them. I also replaced the the wheel studs, you can see this factory height here, compared to these are GM performance studs. Let's see if I can get it to focus in a little better. So a little longer. I, I went with these studs because they have the starter nose on them and they're black. I like that. So more updates to come. Next is the front reinforcement here. The bumper is starting to get the smiley face, as they say, sagging down. It's not necessarily from hitting curbs, but from sustained high speed. So you can see a gap right in here. It's starting to hang down and when you go pretty fast, it pushes down. You can see how much play there is there. So a ZR1 bumper reinforcement will push this up and hold it there. See how much play and deflection there is. Again, not from hitting curbs, just from tracking the car and being at sustained high speeds at Road America and BIR. They're pretty fast tracks, and uh, this car could use a little more rigidity in the front. 